Hi, everyone. Welcome to CRN In Depth. I'm your host, Rachel Espayat, and you're watching CRN TV. In this weekly series, we dive into the biggest CRN story of the week with the fellow CRN reporter who covered that story. It's still the first month of the year, and Dell Technologies has already completed its first acquisition. The news broke on Wednesday that Dell acquired Cloudify, an Israel-based multi-cloud management platform and a provider of environment-as-a-service software for about $100 million. CRN senior editor Orion Johnson joins me to discuss the acquisition and how this positions Dell moving forward. Welcome back to the show, Orion, and thanks for joining me. Thanks, Rachel. It's great to be here. Just to kick things off, let's just talk about what Cloudify is and what they do as a company. Well, they have some really cool technology called Environment as a Service. And I think when everybody thinks of EASS, they think of everything as a service. This is kind of a newer virtualization piece of software. And what it does is it, it can take the entire IT infrastructure, the entire stack, and, and mimic that. And so for DevOps teams, they can sandbox and create and take down and destroy it. They can send out updates and make changes without having to worry about sort of burning down the whole IT house, so to speak. It gives them a, a lot of flexibility around um, developing smarter ways of running applications and where to put applications and they can test how, you know, how it's going to work. It's really cool stuff. They work with a lot of the other players in this space. Dell, they didn't really say much about it what do we know about the acquisition? It was carried out, I don't know if quickly is the word, but it wasn't on anybody's radar. You know, it's a small company. They've obviously hired very smart people, but also they're buying for the for the technology. So this isn't, you know, something that's going to uh, get a lot of rumors in the market. It just kind of sprung up. TechCrunch broke the story. I did ask Dell for a follow-up, and Dell said they're not talking beyond this very short statement that they released in the night. But they announced the acquisition on the 25th where they just confirmed that they had closed the deal. Uh, CRN's reached out to them, I'm sure other media has, but Dell said they're not issuing any public statement beyond what they've already said. You mentioned how cool this technology is. How is this acquisition going to position Dell moving forward? It gives DevOps the ability to kind of control that that entire environment um, and shifting, you know, when they talk about shifting workloads from on-prem to the cloud, this is most likely going to end up somewhere in their Apex offering. Apex is the Dell's cloud service. They've got about 12 services built in there right now. Uh, they announced they hit a billion uh, in ARR last year. I just talked to a solution provider who said they're moving forward with a, a lot of Apex projects. They, there's a lot of Apex uh, work that's going to pick up. So it looks like this is probably a play to enhance that Apex offering and just make it easier for anybody who wants to use it to use it. It'll be interesting to see how they fully integrate Cloudify into Dell. Well, Orion, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome.